The first thing we have to do is separate the cases. This engine is in three parts. And I'll show you. We have the one part, which is this part that goes all the way to the back. I have some neighbor that's beating on some shit and wrecking my video as usual. Anyway, this aluminum piece fits here and up here, and that fits onto the main motor crankcase, which is right here. Actually, there there is four parts. I'm sorry. There is your cylinder head right here with the valve train. You can see where it where it ends right there. Then we have the crankcase halves. Now usually on crankcases, they're split down the middle. They're split this way. This one is different. It's split this way. So you can see that there is a split right here, and it goes right along here. And you can see there's some gray moto seal right there, and it goes right up to here, and there's a rubber O-ring right there. So what we have to do, first of all, is to get the head off right here. Now there are four bolts right here that hold the head. They also hold the valve train. This is your intake or your exhaust valve and your uh, intake or your exhaust valve and this is your cam chain. And also this is just your cam chain um, pulley right there. So if the chain is connected to the crank, which it is, and I can't get the, get that off, the only way to get the crankshaft off is to get the head off. I have to take the chain off from the crankshaft all the way up to right here, where you can see the end of it. Now what, what we do to take that off, I believe, as, far, as much as I've read, and I've got to do this with two, two hands, is that this is the, the cam chain tensioner right here. Okay, what this does basically your chain is, say your chain right here is so wide, okay, it pushes down, um, let's see if I can do that, it pushes down, it, it's, it's a pin, okay, this is a pin that pushes down, and the more it pushes down, the more it tightens up the chain, and there's a certain amount of, it's just like a chain on a motorcycle, how well, it is a chain on a motorcycle. Uh, it's like a drive train, it, drive chain, it has to have a tensioner. So what we do is we take our little tool here, and if you're going to take this motor apart, there's only two or three socket sizes you need. This is an 8 millimeter, this is a 10 millimeter, and this is a 12. And those are generally the three that you need. Gen 8 and 10 are, are used a lot. So now I don't know if this is going to come off. This is the adjuster here, I believe. So. This has got to come off first. Let's see if I can put that there. This little torque driver works great, this Makita. Okay, now you've seen how that's just popped out there. And you can see where the... Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me put this down right here. You can see the, the belt. The belt is right underneath this rubber pad here, right underneath here. And here's your cam chain tensioner right here. And this bolt controls how far the cam chain tensioner goes up or down. So we want to put that aside onto a clean rag right here to before I clean it and put it into my neat little bags. All right, now you notice when I did the, the cam chain before with my fingers, that it was very, very tight. Now, you can see, see if you can see that. You can see that the cam chain is very loose, or it's looser. Now what I need to do is have the cam chain either come across the top of this and out, or, have it come across this part and out. So the next thing I want to do, and I, I'm not, let's see if we can do this with, uh, we're already into five minutes, so we'll, 
I'll have to go to the next video. Every one of these videos should be about three minutes, but I get carried away. 